Hello everyone, in this video we are going to develop this Roll Dice app and as you can see it's a simple app that's designed for beginners where you can learn Flutter basics like the basic widgets, text, images, column, padding and several other basic widgets where every beginner should know. So without wasting time let's get started and develop this. So this is where we are going to get started. I have a default Flutter project running on simulator. So the only thing I did is I created assets folder in my app folder and inside assets folder I created images and here I have some dice images. So you can find these images in the video description. I will put the source code so you can go and take these images and also make sure to create assets inside this dice roller app folder and inside make sure to create images and inside images just put these images and also before we get started go to popspec.yaml and in the bottom you have to add these assets just add assets and bottom you have to show the directory which is assets images right so after you have done this you can go and start your code from here inside main.art. So first I'm going to remove this my apps and I'm gonna create a new my app, my app. And in my build, I want to return material app. This material app has the home argument and here I want to create a scaffold widget. If I save it, you can see the blank scaffold. And also before we get started, I don't I want to remove this debug banner. So for that, just inside material app, we use just debug show jacket mode banner and you can make it false. Now inside my scaffold, I want to create a body and I want to use container widget. The reason I'm using the container widget because I want to give gradient background color. So inside container, let's use a decoration argument and this requires another widget and I'm going to use box decoration. And inside the box decoration widget, we can give gradient color, gradient. And you can see there are different types of gradients like linear gradient, gradient, radial gradient and sweep gradient. And this project, I want to use linear gradient. And is this linear gradient have several arguments like colors begin and end the first thing we have to use is colors and this is a list we have we need to create we need to use square brackets inside this we can use several colors like for example colors dot let's say purple and colors dot deep purple i'm using two colors and i want to put some comma to format my code and you can see in the left side we have the purple and in the right side we have the purple but I want it like from bottom like top left to bottom right to do that inside linear gradient you can use begin argument and you can use alignment dot top left and end argument alignment dot bottom right and if I save it, you can see the purple color is in the top left and deep color is in the bottom right side. Now you can see our code getting bigger and bigger. So the best practice is to separate our code into a new file. So I'm going to copy this container code. I'm going to press command X to copy. And inside my lib folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call it components. Inside this components folder, I'm gonna create a new file and call it gradient container dot dart. Here I'm going to create a stateless widget. Let's call it gradient container and let's return the container that we have just copied. And now simply in my main dot dart, in my scaffold body, I'm going to import this gradient container. Make sure you import it in the top. You can see if I save it, everything reminds the same because we just 
uh, refactor it we just separated our code now in my gradient container i want to separate my code more so i want to refactor like i want to take these two arguments into a new variable so outside my class gradient container i want to create const start alignment and i want to put this alignment dot left copy paste also put semicolon and here let's change it to end alignment and it will be bottom right and now here we can remove this alignment and here simply paste the the verbal name and alignment now you can see everything is same now i want to refactor these colors so to do that i want to, inside my stateless widget i want to create final color color one and final color color two because we have two colors like right purple and deep purple now inside my gradient color i need to create this like this dot color one and this dot color two and also comma now simply instead just remove these colors just copy these colors i'm gonna press command x here just put color one column color two and save it and now you can see main.dart shows some red squiggles and the reason why it's asking is that we have to put the colors so i'm going to paste the colors that we, that i have copied colors.purple and colors.deeppurple and now you can see everything still remains the same because we are just refactoring we are just using the custom widgets we are just using the new variables so i'm going to put const to this material app to remove these warnings now in my container i want to use child inside my container and i want to show you that we have to use image right for that we have to use image.asset and here the the directory which is assets images let me show you assets images and here inside images we have dice1.png if i save it now you can see it looks very awful because the only thing you have to do is to wrap this image and with another widget and it's called center you have to wrap this widget with center and if i save it now you can see we have the desired image and desired background so i'm going to put comma and you can see the image looks uh, very big so i want to change the width inside the image asset after you put this directory you can put a width you can use the width argument and for example let's say it's 200 and if i save it now it looks better right so inside this center we have image.asset right and for the child we are using like for the we inside my center we have the child image.asset now i also want to show the bottom in the bottom side so for that i'm going to wrap this image with the column and after this image i can put text bottom and you can see it requires unpressed and child and for the unpressed unpressed let's make it blank and for the child let's use the text and call it rice let's name it like roll dice roll dice and if i save it you can see the roll dice and you can see the image is now going to the top because now we are using column and this will take all the space so inside column just use main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center and this will 
takes you to the center. Now you cannot see the text. You can see the roll dice. So for that, inside the text bottom, let's use the style text bottom text bottom dot style from and for the foreground color let's save colors dot white and I also want to change the the width of this the size of this text so for that inside style you can use text style text style and font size 28 and you can see it now looks bigger and you can also put cons to remove this warning and another thing I want to do is that between this image and text you can see there is no space so I want to put some space so for that between this image and text button I want to put const size box and for the height maybe 20 also put comma and if I save it you can see now we have some space you can add more space for example let's make it 30 let's go to gradient container let's make it 30 and save it now it looks better now if I press this nothing will change because we are not using any logic and you can see our gradient container is also getting bigger and bigger so the best practice is to remove this code this from the column you can Com you can press command X and inside lib folder and inside components I'm going to create a new file and I'm gonna call it let's say dice roller dot dart and inside that we need to create a stateful widget not stateless widget be careful for that and I'm going to name this dice roller and I'm going to paste it in my build return I'm going to paste the column that I have just copied and in my gradient container I'm going to import this dice roller was it dice roller? it was dos loras I made a mistake I'm going to change this name dice roller and here we can import this dice roller and if I save it you can see everything looks same and now inside dice roller when we press this button we want to change this dice roller right so for that uh, we need the, the random widget uh, which is the which is, is a, it's, a, it's a dart widget like I mean it's a dart uh, function like First, we need to import this uh, it's Dart Math. And inside this Dart Math, first, inside this stateful widget, we have to create a randomizer, like we have to create a new variable and call it current dice. And let's make it one and if I put this image like current dice like inside images I can remove this one and if I put current dice dot png you can see it's one but if I change it to two for example and save it and restart the application you can see it will change it now to but I want to make it pressable like I want to create a function here Wait, roll dice and inside this roll dice I'm going to use set state and I want to make the current current dice to random dot next int and it will be like six images so I want to make it six and plus one the reason I'm making plus one because if we put six it will count as five so we have to add one more and if I save it and in my text button I have to remove this and put it this roll dice and if I save it and restart the app and 
if I restart the app and put and also to change these current dice to one to make sure everything works from scratch restart the app again and if I roll dice you can see it's now giving me random like numbers and it's now changing the roll dice so I hope you guys understand so that's all about it for this project and I will see you in the next videos.